What's up my comic comrades, since the amazing Justice League Dark Apocalypse War movie dropped, DC mystics and sorcerers have stepped into the spotlight in a big way, and I am all about it. In fact, a couple of weeks ago we posted a How Powerful Is John Constantine episode, and it was pretty freaking popular with you guys. So today we're taking a look at arguably the strongest sorcerer in all of the DC universe, of course I'm talking about Dr. Fate. We also want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring today's episode, and make sure you stick around for a great offer from them later on in the episode. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, Variants How Powerful episodes do not include a list of every powerful moment the character has had over the years. Instead, we choose several prime examples of the character's power on display to drive home how crazy powerful they really are. And that is exactly what we're going to do today with Dr. Fate, because this dude is a beast. So let's begin. Let's start with comparing him to the superhero to which all superheroes are compared to in terms of strength, which of course is Superman. Dr. Fate once avoided a simultaneous attack from not only Superman, but also Martian Manhunter, who is arguably just as strong, if not stronger in some ways, than Superman. In this instance, these two titans of DC were being brainwashed by Darkseid to attack Dr. Fate. But as they started to charge Fate, Fate says, Forgive me for what I must do, my friends, but I am confident you will soon thank me. He then jumps out of the way, causing Manhunter and Superman to collide, and then does a spell to break their mind control. This instance shows that Dr. Fate has incredible speed, being able to dodge Superman and Martian Manhunter. Dr. Fate is also knocked out an evil version of Superman. The comic even says, only a wizard fist could hit Superman with such telling effect. And Fate says while throwing a left hook, I know magic is a weakness of his, so I'll dish out a real big helping of it. Fate was also able to get right back up after getting backhanded by Superman. Again, I said it a few weeks ago, but getting backhanded is just so disrespectful. It's like the most insulting thing ever. Now this next one is where things start getting a little crazy. Like when Dr. Fate conjured up mystical chains to help Superman pull the Earth's continents back together. Because aliens. Legitimately because of aliens, the continents on Earth were converging on each other. So Dr. Fate conjured up magical chains that were so powerful he was able to anchor them to said continents so that Superman could pull the continents back where they needed to be. And the last Superman instance I'll give you guys is when Dr. Fate told Superman that he could make him immune to the effects of magic. That's right, the Helm of Naboo is so so dang powerful, he can get rid of vulnerabilities from the strongest beings in the universe. Superman obviously being one of them. Moving on, Dr. Fate is so durable, he was once thrown through infinite dimensions by the Spectre and lived. As always, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I have no idea how the physics or mathematics of that work, but I do know that is impressive either way. Spectre literally says, farewell fate, as you hurtle helplessly through an infinity of dimensions to the end of unrecorded time. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that not just anyone could survive the effects that would have on one's body and mind. But even more impressive than that is the time he survived the place where nothing was real and reality itself was nothingness. If that sounds trippy, you'd be right, because sorcerers deal with all kinds of funky stuff. And in this instance, Dr. Fate even says, a place where strange powerful snake-like shapes can appear literally from nowhere, to coil a grip tight enough to permit no human breath. A place where no human truth holds, no physical law obtains. Think about that. This is a place where nothing and anything can happen. The rules of physics and reality do not apply. Yet fate was not only to survive, but escape. Dr. Fate was also shown to be able to reassemble broken Green Lantern constructs. He even says when talking about Alan Scott's broken construct, by reassembling its atoms, I can reconstruct its original form. So this dude is so in tune with the magical forces, he essentially can reconstruct someone's willpower, as a Green Lantern's construct is the physical manifestation of said Lantern's willpower. Not to get too much in the weeds, but with his ability of matter manipulation, he can reconstruct or deconstruct any physical object. His telekinesis and telepathy is also some of the best in all of comic books. So much so, he doesn't need Cerebro like Professor X does to find someone from across the world. Case in point, he was able to find Bruce Wayne's consciousness a world away all on his own. He could also do stuff like move planets with his mind. You heard me right, move planets with his mind. Like when he moved one into the sun. Don't worry, he had a good reason. Fate could also do things like, you know, bring the Justice League to an entirely different universe at will. And here's one which is super crazy. The Helmet of Fate once outran the Big Bang. Again, I don't know the max speed of that, but I do know that's super impressive. And here's a mind F, continuing talking about just the helmet itself, Dr. Fate's helmet contains its own 
universe, as told to us by the Spectre. That is some Men in Black stuff right there. Like, we can't even comprehend with our feeble brains how something as small as a helmet can contain an entire universe. But does that mean that Dr. Fate is a universe himself? Kinda, sorta, maybe but probably not. But it doesn't stop there. Fate's amulet of Anubis also has a universe inside it because why the hell not? Now, some of you may be saying, Eris, having a universe in your helmet or amulet is cool and all, but how does that make you powerful? To which I say, any dude who could shove an entire universe in a helmet or necklace is someone you do not want to mess with. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Lords of Order are higher beings of great mystical power that represent order in the DC universe. And when Fate was fighting Spectre, the embodiment of God's wrath, Spectre told Fate, I've destroyed all the Lords of Order and Chaos. You're the last surviving guardian of the Ninth Age of Magic. And like a boss, Fate reveals, and the most powerful. So powerful, in fact, he was able to stalemate the multiversal Spectre who was amped up by all the magic in the multiverse. In the end, Dr. Fate finally lost the battle on purpose, mind you, saying without my death, the current age will linger and the destruction you've begun will continue to build and feed upon itself. Wild magic will continue to run free, so what's clear, the best course of action is to simply let you kill me. This is borderline a Christ-like action in the sense that he sacrificed himself for the good of the universe and then resurrected because this is comics and you know we cannot not have a Dr. Fate. Now you might think that's it, but you'd be wrong. Next up we have the time that Dr. Fate stopped Spectre's curse and literally repaired Hal Jordan's soul after the Spectre turned him into stained glass and shattered him on the pavement below. He then proceeds to say, is there anyone else you would like to pin your hopes on? But out of nowhere, Hal Jordan's shattered pieces start to levitate off the ground and ultimately bring Hal Jordan back to life. To which he says, who do I have to thank? And Dr. Fate shows up out of nowhere with a JSA saying, my helmet just whispered a small spell of reversal from the Book of Wise, allowing me to stop the Spectre's curse before your soul was shattered beyond repair. Again, Dr. Fate is basically a god, which definitely explains this last instance, when Dr. Fate was able to tap into the springs of creation itself in order to destroy a ship of unspeakable evil. Fate then proceeds to say, I must tap into the wellsprings of creation itself, focus them through my person, and annihilate this unspeakable evil. The comic then says tremors reach into the farthest corners of Earth 1 and Earth 2 because of this. This magician, sorcerer, god, whatever you want to call him, tapped into the springs of creation itself to destroy an unspeakable evil. That's insane. I told you guys, he's a beast. There are many more demonstrations of his power that we didn't get into, but all in all, these examples should give you a much better understanding of just how powerful Dr. Fate is. In the DC universe, he should never be underestimated. Our lives have been trending more and more digital for a long while now, and the current lockdown situation has only put that trend on rocket fuel, which means we need to be protecting our online privacy more than ever. And you could start doing just that by going to nordvpn.com forward slash variant to set up a VPN account with a company we trust. With NordVPN, you just get an account, download the app on your computer and your phone, then sign in and turn it on. That is it. And it immediately starts hiding your IP address by redirecting your connection through one of Nord's 5400 plus remote servers. Another one of our favorite features that's come in handy recently is that when you're running out of movies or TV shows to binge here in the States, you could choose a server in one of the 60 plus countries NordVPN has available and start exploring the content Netflix, Disney Plus, or other streaming services have available exclusively in those areas of the world. All together with NordVPN, you get stupid fast servers, military grade encryption, up to six simultaneous connections, unlimited bandwidth, with 24 seven customer support and a crap ton more, which is why there are VPN of choice. So do yourself a favor, take control of your internet life. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash variant now to get 70% off a three year plan along with a free bonus month. Again, that's nordvpn.com forward slash variant or use the code variant at account sign up. Protect yourself and have peace of mind in your digital world. And just like that, my comic comrades, that brings today's episode to a close. But if you like today's Dr. Fate content, be sure to check out our History of Dr. Fate episode right here. And if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe, like our videos and comment. All of that helps us out. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics.